China, China, China. The Chinese government controls all Chinese citizens' lives. When your credit score is completely low, the government has the right to control your lives. And there are a lot of ways that your credit score can go down. Number one, you can buy way too many video games in China. That brings your credit score, that so, your social credit, credit score down. You could smoke in a public area. And that would also bring your credit score down. Posting fake news on social media can also bring your credit score down. And I think AI's there can tell the news that is almost completely true, but also can be like half of a lie in some kind of a way. And also other bad deeds can get you get you a low credit score. That's stuff. They you could leave litter, trash on the floor, not clean up after yourself and that stuff. That bring your credit score down. And the lower your credit score is, the more your the more the Chinese government has the right to control your lives. Now, if I'm not mistaken, the Chinese government has the right to restrict you from traveling, um, prevent you from getting a good job, um, they can prevent you from staying at a nice hotel, and... And they can they can they can ruin your entire life. They can ruin your entire life if your social credit score is completely like low. Very low. It's not even funny. I myself would not appreciate that. I'll explain something in America that's way different. You can buy way too many video games and not have your life ruined by the U.S. government. And the U.S. government doesn't run like that. Alright? We don't have that stupid social credit system that works the same way as China's. So, in the U.S., everything... That brings you a low credit score in China, you can pretty much get away with. Like you can post fake news on social media on that stuff, and you can get away with it in the US. And why can we get away with this in the US? Well, because our we have the USA is a country that we have the freedom to do what we want. And stupid China is the worst country, in my opinion, compared to the U.S. Because if if, if you go to a restaurant and you just leave the and you just leave a mess there and don't put like your tray away. Say you go eat at McDonald's and then you um you you don't put your tray away, you don't clean up your scraps of food, and then somebody has to come over and trash it out all for you. You can get away with that. But there's no punishment if you leave your litter or 
trash on the on the on the tables. They we do not have that stupid flipping credit score system like China. But there's a way that the U.S. can prevent you from getting a good job, and that's if you commit felonies. If you commit lots of felonies, that can prevent you from getting a good job. So, there are ways in the U.S. that you can get punished, but not in the same kind of way that China punishes their citizens with the low credit score system. Like, you can commit a bunch of crimes in the U.S. And you can... You can... Obviously... You could obviously ruin your own life by the crimes and federal crimes that you commit. There, at recently, this guy was fighting over um, chicken wings and pizza over Sean and threatened to kill him. He was charged with misdemeanor. He was charged with physical assault. Um, endangering the life of another person. So technically, I heard what the word misdemeanor is, and that means that it wasn't really like a serious federal crime. Like, there's different levels of crime in the U.S. Now, I heard that if you committed something like sexual assault in China, they would personally execute you. While the U.S., when that happens, you just get put in prison for that. Or jail. And this is what China wants. China wants... Um, all their citizens to be perfect people. And nobody in this world can be perfect. So why does China set up these rules? Well, because the Chinese government is, like, the Chinese government wants all the Chinese citizens to have peaceful lives, go by the rules, and everybody can live happily ever after. There's never a happy happily ever after um, country. There never will be. So, back to the low credit scores. The Chinese government can prevent you from getting a good paid job, um, restrict you from having pets, um, restrict you from booking a plane ticket or train travel or staying at a hotel. And they can also prevent you from going to, like, certain places like clubs and bars and that kind of stuff. And I also want to mention in the U.S. that you can get away from smoking in a public facility. But in the aftermath of that, um, you could get arrested for causing a fire in the U.S. in a building. I see people smoking in their homes in the U.S. a lot. I see it happen. Heck, not even... Well, I'm not even going to go there. I'm going to say I've seen a lot of people smoke in their homes in the U.S. And... You can get off the hook with it after a while... But in the aftermath, after a few years or so, 
It can cause serious lung cancer and even death. Which is bad. If you smoke in your homes in China, your credit score goes down. If you buy too many video games, your credit score goes down. If you get addicted to playing on the Huawei or whatever, the 3DS, I know some few. There is a rare number of people in China that own a 3DS. And I noticed that when I play on a 3DS, I rarely see people who are in China who own one of those. And they're not on very often. And I couldn't find out why they were not on often. Until I actually found out that their stupid credit score was preventing the Chinese people from playing for like hours a day. That's why I rarely see them on a 3DS. Now, if you lived in other parts, like outside of China, say like Thailand or Malaysia or wherever outside of China you live in, you don't go by their social credit score. Because in China, if you live outside of the border of China, um, you can pretty much get away with having a social credit score. And you can do whatever the heck it is you wanted to. You don't need a flipping Chinese government controlling your life when you have a low credit score. It's like simply pathetic. If it's for one thing, the Chinese government should have never, should have never set this stupid thing up. If you're in China and you have parents, the parents are the one <coughs> who should set the kids examples on how to behave and how to be good people. <coughs> like, why does the blasted Chinese government have to do this for you with the low credit course, score system? Why does the Chinese government have to do this? Oh, wait, I know why the Chinese government wants to do that. The Chinese government wants to invade on your personal privacy. They have, like, cameras every end of China. They developed, like, glasses that can, like, <coughs> detect who the person is, what age they are, what they like to do. And that gives the government the information that it needs to gather from all the citizens in China. And once they figure out all of this and that stuff, they can, like, you know, personally spy on people. It's, like, really creepy. It's really creepy. I view the Chinese government as a personal invader. I mean, like, yes, literally. Literally, that can happen. And it's just, it's just sick. If, ah, uh, let me give you a good example. Um, Like, when I was younger, my parents always wanted me to behave and be good. Because if the child, if that child didn't behave how the parents wanted it to, it would not be getting rewarded. Why would it not be getting up rewarded? Why would it not 
why would the child not get rewarded for bad behavior? Well, because bad behavior won't reward you anything. The child has to be a very, very good and well-behaved in order to get rewards, like being taken out to restaurants and being taken to, like, um, national, like, parks. I'm talking about, like, parks, like Rock City Park and Allegheny Reserver and, you know, doing good things that families do with other people and that stuff. If they're, like, misbehaved, then they'll get the reward next time when they behave well-mannered and act mature. And every time that child acts bad and misbehaved, the less rewards he's going to get. The less rewards he or she's going to get. The more that the child behaves, the more rewards and stuff they're going to get. Okay? And the U.S. government doesn't put every single family on a blasted dang credit social credit system. Why? Why do they not put them on these blasted social credit systems in the U.S.? Well, because first off, as I said before, America here is a... It's a blasted country that has the freedom to do whatever it is they wanted to. That's why there's no social credit system in the U.S. that is like blasted China. And the government in the U.S. doesn't take control of every innocent People's lives. Like, why? Why does this happen? Why does the Chinese government have to, like, be completely, you know, like, be, like, a dictator to people? It's, it's so, like, you know, it's so messed up. I, I really, really hate Chinese government. I literally do. They've put cameras everywhere to spy on anyone to make sure that they're behaving. I've even watched a YouTube video that there's this um, girl who's a journalist and she, um, she, she goes around and roams the street in China and she, um, she monitors Chinese citizens, and she, like, you know, talks to them and say, like, she, she, she strikes up, like, friendly conversations to make sure that everyone's behaving. She wants to find out what they're up to, and what their plan is for the day, and that stuff, and... She writes them all down in a journal. She writes them all in a journal. And she's one of the Chinese government agents. So, she records all the, um, she records, like, every record of their names, their age, what they like to do, and when she gets done with her report on, like, monitoring every Chinese citizen, 
and that stuff, she, um, she will report to the Chinese government, and she will say, okay, so this person loves to do this and that, and, well, I want to see for your stuff, Governor. Is this exactly how the person should behave? And the Chinese government will look at the reports. And the Chinese government will determine whether this individual Chinese citizen will either get their credit score taken, like credit score rise up, or drop down. And this this Chinese agent of the government who like, you know, roams the streets in China and you know, inspects everybody and see if they're like behaving all individual Chinese person writes down what they like to do, what they're doing in her journal, and, yeah, and she'll be like, she'll be like the government's agent, agent, and it, I, I myself, if I ever had that kind of a job, I, I would probably get really sick of it, because I don't like to be, like, walking around a whole entire, um, state or city of China and you know it'd be like hours and hours of like walking and my feet would actually get like really sore from doing all that but yeah China is, like, the worst country you can live in. There's, they don't give you a life, like, how you want to live it. Um, the Chinese government, it doesn't, The Chinese government, in my opinion, is a stupid government. You won't, you don't get the freedom to do what you want. You're always, you always have to like live by, you're always like living by a, um, you have to live by You always have to live by the Chinese government's rules. Uh, yeah, I mean, and your life cannot be your own in China. And that's what makes, uh... That, that's just the way that China is. China is, like, the worst blasted country you could ever live in. And if I have to say something about it, I have to say it's really, really stupid. The U.S., we have freedom... We can do whatever it is with our own flipping lives. And we don't have to have a blasted government controlling what we do. That's exactly what 
makes China the worst country compared to the U.S. You can smoke. You can do whatever the f heck it is you wanted in the U.S. And you would not have a social credit score. Say, for example, you could go to a hotel in the U.S. And you could be, like, the um, most prettiest person on the outside. And you could be the most ugliest person on the inside. You could, like, really misbehave in a hotel... And you could, like, you know, talk bad to the, um, to the, um, person who checks people in and checks people out. You could go knocking on other people's doors and be a complete idiot. And you could, you could do every single stinking thing that you could think of. That would be a really, really bad and immature behavior in a public facility. And you wouldn't even get in trouble for it in the U.S. You would be able to get away with this stuff. You could, like, smoke in the public bathroom. You could, you could, like, smoke in your own hotel room. You could set the hotel off. Tell a fire, the hotel on fire, and oh, ho, ho, ho. you wouldn't get your credit score taken down. You would get me. You would get sent to jail for like endangering the lives of like thousands. <laughs> so yeah, the U.S. has a way of punishing their people, but not in the way that stupid China does. You could, like, smoke in amusement parks, and you could, you could, like, do whatever it was, any bad habit you wanted in the U.S. Just remember, in the U.S., if you're doing something bad, like smoking in a public facility, and causing a fire, or you, you go and you commit physical assault and danger the lives of other people and you commit sexual assault and that stuff you won't get your credit score taken down you'll get sent to jail for that so just remember just because we're in the US Just remember, in the U.S., you can get, you can, in the U.S., you can ruin your lives as well. But, not in the way that China does. The way that China ruins people's lives is, is that they... <clears throat> they punish bad people who don't behave the way that the Chinese government wants them to behave. If you're wanting to stay in a hotel or eat a, dine at a nice restaurant in China, you got to have a really great credit score. And that means you need to be on your, like, best behavior for the Chinese government you have to do every single good deed that the Chinese government wants. And you have to live by the Chinese government social credit system. So, in many ways, the Chinese government controls what you do. In the U.S., there's no one that controls your lives. You don't have anyone that controls your lives in the U.S. You don't have one government in the U.S. 
that says, all right, this person's not doing this, this person's not behaving and that stuff, so we're just going to go ahead and just ruin their lives because they're obviously doing these bad deeds and that stuff, so we're just going to go ahead and just ruin their lives. Yeah, the U.S. doesn't do that. I don't think the government in the U.S. would be that kind of an idiot like Chinese, like China's government. And, you know, simply just go ahead and ruin the lives, the lives of, like, many people. Like, what else can I say? China is, like, one of the worst countries that you could ever live in. I don't know how many times I say it, I have to say it. China is the worst country to live in. I own many Nintendo systems. Or many video game systems, I should say. I own a Game Boy Color. I own a Game... I own... I used to own a Game Boy Advance SP. But I have a Game Boy Advance. I have a Nintendo DS. I have a Nintendo 3DS. Or a Nintendo DS Lite. Which was the next generation from the Nintendo DS. This is... I also have a 3DS. And now, moving on to home consoles... I have a Nintendo NES Classic Collection, which is a European model. And then I have... I have a GameCube, I have a Wii, I have a Wii U, and I have the Nintendo Switch. I also have a Sega Genesis. Now, oh, look at that, China! Bri you better lower my social credit system because I own way too many blasted video game consoles. I'm a video game addict. You should ruin my life, China. You should ruin my life permanently. Prevent me from getting a good paid job. Make it so I can't go to good restaurants that I enjoy and... Prevent me from staying at very, very nice, fancy hotels. And you go ahead and ruin my life, China, because I, for one, I am a huge video game addict here. Yeah, I play video games almost just about every single day. Well, I'm trying to, like, you know, play them Last, because I know video game addiction overall. I'm not not just China, but overall it's bad, and you need to try to find something else to do in your life other than playing video games 24 7. But, yeah, China, I'm a video game addict. Why don't you go ahead and just ruin my life? Make my life. Like a living ditch in the dirt. <sighs> China, 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 China. Oh boy. You are like the worst country ever. If I wanted to live in China, Yes, I, yes, China would be, like, a beautiful country to live in. And they've got, like, a lot of parks that you can go to and that stuff. But I don't think I would want to live under your guidelines here. I don't think I would love living under the Chinese government's guidelines. And I know that every one of you watching this, and if you're in, like, other countries than China... You obviously know how terrible it would be to live in China because of their stupid social credit system.
So, that's that. I own, like, a lot of video game systems. I'm a video game addict. And... If there's any... If there was ever any fake news that I'd ever uploaded to social media, I would get my social credit courts t- scores taken down if I were in China, which I'm not. I'm in the U.S. In the U.S., we have the freedom to do what we want. Get wrecked, China! The U.S. is better than you! You got your blasted social credit system that you put every single stupid Chinese citizens in there and you just like and when you find that those individual Chinese citizens credit scores go way down then you say like alright you know what your your credit system is like way low we're going to control your lives. Like, literally. Literally. This whole thing is, like, you know, too messed up. Why else would it be a terrible country? Probably because of the people that live in there, too. Not just the government. China! China's gonna go rock bottom one of these years. And China is gonna... Everybody in China is... Eventually going to want to have... War against the Chinese government. Because... Eventually, in one of these years... I would hope that all the Chinese citizens would gather as one and they're like, hey, guess what, Chinese government? We're tired of you controlling our lives with a stupid social credit system. We're tired of it. We will riot the streets. We will make sure that you get rid of this social credit system and we're going to take you down. One of these days, China, you will be the one who will be the worst country in the whole entire world like you are now. But later, this is going to get too far. The Chinese government is going to go way too far. And they're going to control every single individual lives and it is not going to be fun. People are running to start rioting in the streets and they're wanting to go against you. And they're going to want you and they're going to want well, they'll complain. They'll complain to you. You, the Chinese government who who put this stupid social credit system in China is Well, you know what I'm gonna say. You're you're gonna have um the Chinese government's gonna like suffer. One of these years the Chinese government's gonna hit rock bottom. And I have to ask why does China exist as a country? China's a great place to live in. I'd like to try different cultural foods, see how they taste, and have, like, actual Chinese food, and, you know, be, you know, be that great. I do realize that if you ever took, like, a video game system over to China, and you were playing that the whole the whole entire time not being social or being good in that stuff, the Chinese government would probably put you on their social credit system and control your life. And then never 
allow you to have a flight back to the U.S. Anyway, I've had enough discussing this topic. China's the worst country. Bottom line, I'm going to leave it at that. I encourage you to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. And... Just remember, it's the parents' job to control their kids' lives, not the chi not the stupid Chinese government. And if and if China is eventually going to say to the um, Chinese government, complain that we're tired of you controlling our lives, why can't we control? our own, our own children's lives and that stuff, and like, you know, go out and have, and do things as like family, like take them out, take our children out to eat, and, you know, like have them go, like spend nights at a hotel, and be like, and do what normal families do, and not let the government control all of our lives with a social credit system. It's stupid. Literally. Like, literally. I'm going to end the video by saying this. The Chinese government should realize that every Chinese family has children. And and for If <clears throat> if the Chinese government can't realize that it's the parents that should control their own kids' lives and and once once the government realizes that all the Chinese citizens are complaining about being on this stupid social credit system that these Chinese citizens are on, once they complain to the government, um, the government is gonna be, like, oh, well, the government's gonna be, like, you know, they're gonna be, like, why are you people going against me? You live by my rules. I set up these social credit system rules. Why are you going against me? It's you people that are the ones who should be ashamed of yourself for having such low credit systems. Look at you. You ruined your own life for yourself. I didn't do it. It was your bad behavior that, like, whoa, 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 whoa. The Chinese citizens were in their own lives with their bad deeds? It's just messed up. It's just like really, really messed up. Like, yeah. Yeah. I ruined my own life by my own bad deeds. I let that litter on the floor. They were clean.
cleaned up after myself. I play way too many video games. And way too many video game consoles. And yeah. Yeah. I. Yeah. I am like the worst person in the world because I don't even. I don't even know how to be a good person. I don't even know how to stop being a video game addict. I don't know how to stop playing many hours a day, more than one or two hours. I don't even know how to give all this up. I say for one that I do clean up after myself and clean up my messes and there are like many good deeds and that stuff like I take care of my I always take care of my own Hello Sorry, that was, I had to talk on the phone to, with someone. Uh, anyway, China's the worst country. The parents are the ones that need to set the example for the kids. And that's all I'm going to say for this video. So I 
strongly suggest that you like and subscribe to this channel. And leave your comments down below what you think of this stupid um, Chinese social credit system by the Chinese government. And how bad it is to have that compared to the U.S. I strongly want to encourage you to comment on this video. This is Charles Morris. Have a good day. I will see you all in the next video.